Hey y'all, it's me, Bethy. Um, if you can't tell by the wigs behind me or by the title of this video, I obviously love to do hair. And one of my favorite hairstyles is the basket weave. And I've had some requests. I did a post, like a little TikTok about it, and I've had some requests to do a tutorial for it. And I figured now's as good a time as any to do it. Um, we're gonna be doing it on this girly. Um, I wanted y'all to see the style that she has in already because I love this style. And it's gonna take me so long to take out and it took me so long to do but it's been in her hair for a hot minute and it's time to be redone. Um, the basket weave is, a f like it's a little bit of a difficult style and it might take some practice and it might be a little bit frustrating, but also the concept is pretty simple and I do think it's worth trying. So if you do decide to try it, don't be too hard on yourself. Hair is supposed to be fun, but it also takes practice. Um, and this is one of my favorite hairstyles that I think is definitely worth taking the time to learn. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to you guys in the simplest way I know how and take y'all through it all step by step. So without further rambling, let's just get onto it. Alrighty, I did wanna go ahead and insert this little time lapse for me taking out the style. I always get asked how long it takes to take out these styles. And honestly, this one in particular was very difficult because there's a lot of cord and hair bands. So it did take me about 45 minutes, I think, to take out, which is crazy because the hairstyle that I put in after only took 35 minutes, but it's okay. I also took my time and went ahead and brushed her out really well, as well as using my hot brush so that she was prepped really well for a new style. I hardly ever straightened my wigs, but this one was getting a little frizzy, so it felt necessary. Then I went ahead and put a little ponytail at the top of her head. I made sure to comb it out so it was really flat and precise. And then I went ahead and wrapped it with the hair using my topsy tail, just so it looked like cleaner and more put together. But this step is obviously completely optional. Then I split that ponytail into two sections, and then I split that section, second section into two as well, and I started doing a rope waterfall braid. I have a more in-depth tutorial for this, but it's basically a rope braid, but every time before you twist, you put a new piece of hair between the strands. So you've got a front strand and a back strand. You put a new piece of hair on top of the back strand and underneath the front strand, and then you put them together and twist, and you continue that all the way down. I ended up adding in seven pieces of hair on either side of the face. You do need to make sure that there's the same amount on either side of the face, obviously, but I went ahead and did that, twisted it down, and then pinned it in place with a gator clip. Then I did the same thing on the other side. Like I said, it's like a rope braid, but every between each twist, we sandwich a new piece of hair, twist again. So you twist, put it, sandwich a new piece of hair, twist, sandwich a new piece of hair, twist, all the way down. Um, and again, I want to make sure that I am doing the same amount on either side and that every strand of hair I add in is very flat and precise. Um, and then I go ahead and start basket weaving the hair. So I take the strand from the left side and I go over the strand from the first strand from the right side, under the second, over the third, under the fourth, over the fifth, under the sixth, over the seventh, just like weaving a basket. So it's over, under, over, under, clip it off, and then I do the opposite with the next strand. So it's under, over, under, over. Just like if you were weaving a basket or a thread or whatever. Um, I did a lot of weaving as a child. I don't know if everybody else did or not. Um, the only thing that's different is when I was a kid, whatever I weaved is usually like solid, like yarn or ribbon or something, but this is hair. So the little strands might fly away and might get kind of messy. It's a little bit easier with synthetic hair, but regardless, you do need to be careful and make sure that you're not letting the strands get caught up in all frizzy. Once I got them all gathered together, I went ahead and clipped it in the middle where the last strand ended with a single prong clip. That way there wasn't a bulky clip in the way. And then I repeated that same rope waterfall braid, but this time adding in all of the little strands that were hanging out from our basket weave. So I add those in one at a time until I get to where the little clip is pinned. And then after that, I went ahead and just clipped off the rope braid using that same single prong clip. And then I went ahead and repeated the same exact thing on the other side, just doing that rope waterfall braid, adding in all of those stray strands until they both meet. And then you can totally tie it off here. And honestly, I think I did at first because this was what I thought I was going for. Um, I adjusted the little uh, rope braids and stuff till everything was tight in the way I wanted it to look. But then I decided I wanted to be a little extra and I added on a second little basket weave underneath the top big one. So I went ahead and continued those waterfall braids down adding in three or I think four, I think I did, I did, I did three, adding in three of those strands from the previous basket weave, weaving them together and then waterfall braiding them at the end as well. So we had a second smaller diamond underneath our first large diamond. That just adds a little extra, but again, it is completely optional. 
um, depending on what kind of style you want to do. And here's a little video of the finished style. Absolutely obsessed. Alrighty, I hope that made some amount of sense. And I hope that some of y'all are able to try this technique. I really do love it. I was also surprised there are so many different variations of this hairstyle. Some take me up to two hours. And I kind of expected this one to take me longer. Like, I always film these videos kind of late at night. I expect it to be up to, like, 11.30 midnight. Given I've redone this outro so many times that it might be midnight by the time I go to sleep. But this one only took me, like, 30, 45 minutes, which is pretty fast. Which I think is also another reason why this is a great style for a beginner. Because you can get it done fairly fast. And also, you can stop any time along the way like you can do half of it and then leave the other half for the morning or whatever but yeah i really hope some of y'all get this a try and if you do please let me know in the comments how it goes also leave me any comments if you have any questions suggestions or just anything you'll also leave really sweet comments and i really do appreciate it also if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button that really helps me know whether or not it's a good video um i do love you guys' feedback and yeah thank you so much for watching till the end Y'all have a great rest of your day, night, whatever, um, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.